If you good educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. I don't hate him. I can't hate him. But I can, I want to know why didn't you stop? If you had to kill him, I can deal with that. I can come to grips with that he did something wrong. I understand that. But for him to be shot four times in the back, leaving, and when he falls down and he shoots him four more times, he abused him. He was dead already. And that hurt. That hurts. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all see that? Did y'all hear the pain in that woman's voice? Did y'all see the pain in that woman's face? Describing to the world about how her son was shot down like a dog in the streets. With all due respect, I don't mean no disrespect whatsoever, but the way that she described that was like, this boy's life didn't mean nothing to the person that was shooting him down. But the cold-blooded part about everything is that this woman had to accept it. Y'all heard her. She said, I can accept that he had to kill him because he was doing wrong. So y'all might ask, what was he doing? What was he doing so much that a man would shoot him four times in the back. Stand over him while he's down, submitted. Ain't trying to fight back or nothing, down on his face. Shoot him four more times. But there's more to it. After he shot him them four more times, he disarmed him. He took the gun from the boy stood over him again, shot him one time in the head. Cold-blooded demonstration. But it gets worse. After he shot him in the head, he realized once he got the gun in his hand, the boy gun, once he got the gun in his hand, he realized that the gun that the boy had was fake. The boy had a fake gun, y'all. The man realized that the gun is fake, threw the gun up against the wall. He, he hot, he mad, because he understand that he done killed somebody that was playing games, that had a fake gun. So what does he do? All the money that the boy done took from people, he start taking the money off the boy's body. Give all the people the money that the boy took from him. And last but not least, I'm talking about with utter disrespect, this man took a drink, poured the rest of the drink on the boy's dead body and threw the cup at the dead body. Then walked out the store. Didn't even wait for the police. Cold. Now, the video, y'all already know, I can't show that demonstration, but I'm talking about it's cold. I'm gonna have the link in the comment section at the top so y'all can go check that video out. I'm telling you, if you went to that type of stuff, hey, you see this, you're gonna be like, overkill disrespectful kill, right? And you hear the mother, the mother saying, he didn't have to do him like that. He didn't have to shoot him four more times. He was already dead. But let me say this right here, and I gotta be 100. Even though that man shouldn't have did what he did to that boy. But that boy, Shouldn't have been running in the store trying to rob people. Mm -mm. 
He shouldn't have been in that store trying to rob people with a fake gun. Rest in peace to the brother Washington. But we, I mean, we got to be balanced. Had that boy wouldn't have walked inside that store with that fake gun, he'll still be here right now today. We got to deal with the root, the root cause of these problems. Yes, we can blame the man that shot him all that time and disrespected his corpse. Yeah, we can blame him. But the boy got to take some responsibility too. The boy got to take some accountability too. If he wouldn't have walked inside that store with that fake gun robbing people, he'll still be here right now, today. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably saying to y'all self, Hold on, hood educated. You mean to tell me that this man walked out the store? He didn't wait for the police? No, he didn't. He left. He didn't wait for the police. And until this day, this man has not been charged with that boy's murder. Why? Because in the great state of Texas, if you trying to rob somebody, the people that's around or the people that you robbing, got the right to use deadly force. They have the right to kill you. Whether it's overkill, disrespectful kill, it don't matter. If you trying to rob somebody in the great state of Texas, real gun or fake, they got the authorization to kill you. Now, some might say, well, hood educated. I mean, the gun was fake. Can't the brother get some type of justice because the gun was fake? No. And let me explain to you why he can't get no justice. Because when he pulled that gun out in that store, everybody in the store believed that the gun was real. And the proof of that is that they start throwing their money to him in fear. Here, yeah, take it, take it. But when he tried to walk out that door, as soon as he got past that man, that man pulled out his gun and shot him four times in the back, jumped up four times in the back while he was down on his face, took the gun, shot him in the head, gave everybody back their money, took a drink, pulled the drink on the rest of the drink on the boy and threw the cup on him and walked out the store. Now, I'm finna tell y'all something that's a hood educated body blow. But I gotta give it to you game bangers this way. I gotta give it to you criminals this way. Why? Because you need to understand and you need to feel it. You need to feel it. Y'all seen that boy mama crying? For all you gangsters, for all you criminals. Your mama can be on the news next explaining about your death. Yeah. I know you don't want to hear that. I know. Probably even made some of y'all mad. But it's the truth. It's the truth about the matter. If you out here gang banging, robbing, stealing, burglarizing, doing everything that harms, yeah. That could be your mama on the news explaining about your death next. If you don't stop doing what you're doing. Now, some of y'all might be upset. Hey, hood educated, man, you're going too far, brother. You, you know, you slow it down a little bit. Let me explain something to y'all and to my gangsters and my criminals. Listen, man, I was once y'all. I made all the mistakes for all y'all. I don't want y'all to make the mistakes that I made. I don't want to see you doing half of your life in the penitentiary. I don't want to see you dead in the grave. I want to see you alive and well, living life, taking care of your children, taking care of yourself. So I got to give it to you like this so that you can understand, so it can hurt you. So you can say, ah, he right. 
if I continue to live this life that I'm living, that could be my mom on the news trying to explain the death of me. You got to understand that you are not exempt from what just happened with this woman and her child. You are not exempt from this. As long as you in them streets, you and your mother is not exempt from what happened to this lady and her son. Now, let me tell y'all something. A lot of us out here in these streets, gang banging, uh, robbing and stealing, we have a deep love for our mothers, especially boys. It's just something about, you know, a boy and his mother where, you know, a boy loves his mother, sacrifices life for his mother, cares about his mother, do not want to harm her physically, mentally, or emotionally. This is mama. This is the one that nurtured us. Brought us into this world. Y'all see them boys when they be on the NBA and the, and the NFL and all this old type of stuff. Hey, mama, don't say nothing to their daddy. And there don't be no disrespect to the daddy or nothing like that. It's just something about a boy and his mama. Or a man and his mama. It's just something about that. And I know y'all don't want to hurt y'all mama. So if you don't want to hurt your mama mentally, physically, and emotionally, stop doing what you're doing. Because when you go to the penitentiary for the rest of your life or half of your life, you hurting your mama. Look at it that way. If you get shot down in the middle of the street somewhere, shot down in somebody's restaurant, you hurting your mama. And I know you don't want to do that. Don't none of us want to do that. But that's how I want y'all to start thinking about it. Yeah, man, I can't, brother. You know what? I, don't, I ain't finna be sliding no more, man. I don't want to hurt my mom. No, I can't go on this robbery and this burglary and stuff like that, man. Because I don't want to hurt my mom. I'd rather slow grind to get mine so I can make my mama proud. I want my mama to smile when she see me. I want my mama to know that I'm doing good, that she ain't got to worry about me. Quit causing pain to your mama. A lot of us have already did it. Enough is enough. Quit causing pain. Y'all know just like I know. You love your mother. Don't have your mother on the news like this sister here. Don't have your mother uh, asking family members for donations and money to bury you because of your foolishness. Look, I'm about to say something. And some people might not agree with this. But... For all you criminals out there and you gangsters, gang bangers, uh, if you're going to live that life where your life is on the line, where you can be killed, I want to suggest something. Get some life insurance. Put a lot of money on it. Yeah. Some life insurance. Because you understand that, you know, your life is on the line. So leave your children something. Leave your mama something. So she won't have to sell fish plates and do a, a, a donation drive to bury your fool ass. You see? Quit being selfish. You got kids, you got people that love you. Quit making it hard on them. Change your mind. Change your way of thinking. Do right. Because if you don't do right, your mama going to be next on somebody's news channel explaining your death. 
This is Hood Educated, not lame related. Peace and love and y'all take care of yourself out there. If I said anything that caused you to think, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already. And if you're feeling generous, please make a small donation to the channel. Now, before I depart, allow me to give a shout out to some of the blessings that I received this week. Let me give a shout out to uh, the brother Armis Hatcher, Freddie Williams, Lone Lingo, Shantae Newsom, Newsom, Shantae, hit me up on my Hood Educated face, uh, Facebook page because you said you got a story or something like that. You know, hit me up on my Instagram on that. And for those of you who have uh, stories that you guys want me to do as far as like personal stories and stuff like that, make me an offer that I can't refuse and I'll do the story for you on my channel. Okay? Uh, you're going to have to provide me all the information and everything like that, though. But if it's a personal thing that you got going on and you want to expose some stuff, make me an offer that I can't refuse and I'll do your story for you to, so to help you get some uh, exposure. Um, let me give a shout out to the brother, uh, Larry Malone, uh, Ernest C, uh, Danny Coleman for the Venmo and, uh, Tavell Moss for the Zell. I really appreciate all y'all for the donations. Thank you very much. This is Hood Educated, not Lane Related. Peace and love, and y'all take care of yourself out there.